Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Mega Modder Gungeon. I apologise for missing last week's episode. I was just oh, quite busy with stuff and I didn't really get around to Wait, it. But you noticed that Gookton had drugs? It does, but never named is here, so it's fine. It's fine. He's shooting up, he's shooting up the good green crack. He is. I don't know what's going on with my frame rate right now, but it is bad. <laughs> oh, also, if you look at the back wall, I don't think I've ever pointed this out in a video. No, the back wall of the uh, arcade. Uh, I did that sprite for the back wall, and there's a bunch of little, like, references on there's it. There's an Isaac one there, I see, yeah. Yeah, like, if you look, there's a, a Misfire Beast head. Yeah. There's I, there's the, a note that's a Spelunky reference, I think, because someone wanted a Spelunky reference. <laughs> nice. There's a Super Meat Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a bullet. Super, super Meat Bullet. <laughs> what's the, also, what's um, the yellow one at the top there? That's a bullet kid made out of post-it notes. Oh. <laughs> uh, but if you look, a lot of these are actually references to other mods. If you look at the photographs. Mm. There's uh, the hollow bullet from uh, Not So AI. There's the pet rock from Children of Caliber. There's uh, skis to custom characters in that Polaroid. There's Dallin's bullet reskin. There's the modular from Bunny. Uh, the so Polaroids cool. in the the Polaroids in the middle are like vanilla Gungeon characters and Isaac. Yeah. Then moving on further left, I don't remember who did the uh, the mushroom. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Uh, there's the lock enemy from Special API. There's. I don't remember what that middle one is either. I'm so, so terrible. I just asked people to contribute Polaroids. <laughs> I didn't remember them. Uh, there's the pr snail from Prismatism. And there's the uh, the lost... Oh, no, that's the Overseer, actually, from the yeah. Beyond. That's so cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out because it's something I've not brought up explicitly. Yeah, it looks really good. Hopefully the frame rate improves also, as we get into an actual run because it was terrible in the breach then. If I seem nasally, it's because, uh, I am. <laughs> it's because he is, yeah, that's why. If yeah, I seem if nasally, I a certain way, please let me know, because I shouldn't be. Yeah, if he seems nasally, it's in your head. You need to wake up. Yeah. Ideally, we should be looking into more, like, frame rate optimization. What the fuck? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Okay. Go on, then. Take one. That was peculiar, but I guess we'll take glass. Yeah, it might be worth looking at the uh, the logs after this run to see what might be going on. Yeah. Frame rate's better now, but we're in the actual run, though. But yeah, with, with yeah, but glass, it, it we got hurt. extra damage. No, 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 definitely. I get you. I get you. I get you. With glass, you have extra damage, but you will definitely die because you are not equipped for this. Oh, no. Totally. I just took it as a gamble. Why not? Yeah, like, forcing you to play well is a gamble that will always end in loss. I, I physically can't play well. I mean, I, I'm I'm doing okay in, um, in Isaac at the moment, but that's mainly because I'm playing the deleted. And it's like, basically, if I die, I can just blame the game because of the random effects it gives you. <laughs> Just admitting to a skill issue. Okay, interesting strategy. Exactly. Oh, also, if you hear, like, disgusting, vile, wet slurping noises, that's my dog. <laughs> she's, that's just, that's just she's never sitting, She's sitting right behind the computer, and I can't exactly stop her if she decides to make vile, disgusting, slurping noises. As it's dogs fine. It's, it's, all, it's all part of the entertainment. People, people are here for yeah. it. I mean, you make enough vile, disgusting, slurping noises on your I own. I do. I do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not. Oh, it is working. It is it working. It is working. With only some things, on... though. Oh, right. You only installed one. I only installed one. You, ins you only you installed poorly translated modded Gungeon, so only modded items are poorly translated. Ah, oh, I did. Oops. <laughs> you you need to install the because we were talking about this in the breach. He was confused why uh, the items he had weren't being like poorly translated because he installed the poorly translated mod. New arrival. Also, not all Burns. of. 
but also not all of the modded items being poorly translated. Like, no, I, I no, actually Diogenes' bag seems like a poor translation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so basically everything modded is going to be really weird and have really just like strange descriptions and names because it's poorly translated. But yeah, he I was supposed to, do a to install. Thing, but he didn't actually read. I didn't. The, yeah. Uh, I was supposed to install the one for vanilla as well, but I only installed the modded one. Whoopsie. So only modded items being, like, fucked up. Boat launcher. Um, Fly your mind. Does it... He was supposed to break the car, but was turned down when someone thought it would be fun to attack an air chameleon on it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man door, hand hook, car door. Gotta love it. We're gonna get some really strange descriptions here, but I have to remember to check the description of pretty much every modded item we see now. Anyways, it's been a while. How have you been? Uh, so yeah, doing okay. Doing okay. It Lo comes and goes. Oh, love balls. I love balls. <laughs> love ball. These balls are made out of lead on the outside of the tent. <laughs> it seems that the position has changed so much that it cannot be explained. Nice. Oh, secret room, by the way. Secret room? Yeah, it was literally revealed when you walked oh, in. Oh, hell. That's true. But, uh, one thing I absolutely adore is that it loves to translate, um, bullet into ball. <laughs> but it, it either translates bullet into ball or Indian, and I don't know why. Mini crocodile heart. Like I don't know how it gets to India <laughs> from bullet. I like but it. But it, it means that you'll you'll see things like, like, it'll call an item like Chaos India or something. <laughs> I got a massive frame drop when I shot that bullet then. Zawarudo. Um, I can never remember exactly how to shoot this one. Yeah, way off. Because you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. And this time we get a diamond tool. I will do it. Oh, yeah, bro. I've got a diamond tool. And Firefighter's tool. Pearl. <laughs> a very powerful warrior with a vibrating crystal on his chest. Doesn't work today. <laughs> It's, it's even better when I wrote the descriptions so I know what they originally were. <laughs> That's fantastic. I love that. All right, go on. Attack them with your diamond tool. <laughs> but it doesn't work today. Call it saline. No, not saline. Silane. Silane. The bullets were fired from a rapid-fire cannon. It is located in the ruins of an old lost circus in the third room of the prison. I mean, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Like, that that no, could be a no. real description. Well, the okay, so it's gone with coloured Silene. Silene, right? Silene. The original name, the original name was Kalashnarang. So I don't know how it got there. At least with Diamond Cutter, it translated to Diamond Tool. Yeah. I gotta say, again, I could see Diamond Tool just being the name for this. Well, the, the gun is actually called Diamond Cutter. Okay, well, that gun's very good. <laughs> it's a lot better with uh, 2.7 times damage as well. Yeah. <laughs> this free weapon movement passed through the gap in the tent before the large bullet was hit. Fractal balls are constantly forming beautiful patterns in the air. At least those, um, at least for those who appreciate them. Okay. Oh, it's it translates uh, curtain into tent. <laughs> I like that. This this gun is originally called Protean, and now it's called the con um, continuous changing. Okay, that works. <laughs> thing is, protean is actually a word. If something is protean, it means 
it changes continuously. So it literally it is very much just a description of the word for the name of the gun. Yes. It has translated... It's not bothered to translate it back into the fancy term. <laughs> it's just translated it back into... Uh, bleh. Um, I'll try using it. Seems like it's going to be it's, very good damage, but quite hard to use. It, it's very much spray and pray. Hello, I can't see you there. You just fire as many bullets as you can and hope that they hit. To use the force of nature again, I like this thing a lot. Such a, such a silly gun, but I'm proud of it because I like it. Especially the sprite. Sprite's really cool. Yeah, like that's one of the first guns that I think I was really extremely proud of mm. spriting. It's really, really good. Oh, yeah, I think I think uh, it's quite good Turtle. to barrel stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I was telling Turtle uh, that I haven't been able to work on my Gunji mod as much lately because a lot of my motivation comes from like people experiencing and enjoying the mod and getting feedback. And I've just been getting a lot more feedback on inscription stuff lately. Yeah, because so I'm a little stinker and keep not had, recording. Yeah, I've just naturally had more uh, motivation for inscription stuff because it's what I get more feedback on. But hopefully that will change over time. You know, if you do, if you do play uh, Constantine Carroll, so if you do play. Uh, Modded Gungeon, if you do use Once More Into the Breach, please join the Modded Gungeon Discord server. And tell basically, me how much you hate I just it. want to say, basically, what he wants you to do is he wants you to join and just constantly shower him with praise, regardless of whether no, he deserves me, it. Tell me how much you hate it. Oh, this is. This is really fun. An item that just spreads fire literally everywhere, but doesn't give me fire immunity. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a presmatism item, sir. So. It is. Prismatism sweet. Arson. Just arson. Prismatism burned my house down. Hey, hey, never named. What's this about? Yes. You've got Curse of Darkness on, but the fire's not lighting up areas in the darkness. Well, that's because Dodrol didn't make the shader you, you've got uh, to make intelligently. It, then. You've got to make it then, haven't you? Uh, no. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not making a custom shader. You can go, uh, fuck a pumpkin. Damn, there's so much fire about. Gonna make it light up the area, that'd be so cool. And unnecessary. It would be really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have enough fucks to give. So... <laughs> Find some. Dig some up out your backyard. I'm sure you have some lying there from before. Oh god. Ah, oh, the fucking... I might die here. I, I pushed myself back into the fire. Wait, can I buy any health Why? from you? Why did you do that? Because I'm a doofus and you know it. Well, yeah, I know it, but I want to hear you say it. Can I maybe use this thing for a little bit? It's not very good, but I'll give it a go. It, it's good damage and it stuns, but it's hard to hit with. Actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm about to drop this item. This, this fire is ridiculous. There's way too much of it. Ooh, synergy. Let's hope it's terrible. Ooh. Force. <laughs> Piercing pain. So this gun is... is it has a with the diamond cutter. I don't remember what that would it's do. It's also... Oh, um, revealed the size of the bullet. Ooh, it actually got bullet right this time. With huge losses at one end of the spread and reduced growth at the other. Why is my fire rate so bad? Like, this is me firing at the maximum fire rate I can possibly fire at. Do you have any fire at modifiers? Maybe this? Is it just... Is it just like that one gun or...? No, like every gun's got... like that, That's the max fire rate on this thing. What in the god dang? What in the god dang? Yeah, everything's got a really low fire rate for some reason. 
just looking up uh, what that synergy did because I don't remember. Because it's, it's I... made my diamond tool, my diamond cutter red. Oh, right, right. Uh, yeah, I think that's a multi shot synergy. Like, it will fire multiple projectiles. Nice. That it will. Right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Kind of insta killed him. I guess that would be good on a piercing boss, uh, on a multi phase boss, because uh, the diamond cutters thing is that it. Press E or interact button during combat for a variety of devastating lasers from these strange rocks. Oh, yeah, this is one that uh, is really interesting. In combat, it becomes interactable, and pressing the interact key makes it shoot a laser. Mm, that sounds fun. But yeah, hopefully my fire rate isn't uh, fucked for the entire run. Uh, this is... What, what mod did it say it was from? I don't know. I'll check in a sec. <clears throat> I do not remember whatsoever. It's from, it's from India. No, but... Uh, the... Diamond Cutter's whole thing is that it pierces and it deals more damage after piercing instead of less. Ah, nice, okay. Um, that is from Bleeker. Yeah, I remember Bleak talking about that when he was making it, how proud he was of it. Okay, so I think my fire rate's returned so to normal unlucky. now? Yeah, my fire rate's returned to normal now. You have a 6.66% chance to have a curse, and you've had it two floors in a row. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to interact with this damn thing. Ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, so you got like time it to get good use out of it. I like that a lot. I probably don't want to do it messing around with this guy though, do I? Ideally not when you could be insta killed by it, no. Oh. Damn it. That's it's pretty hard to like effectively hit, but I, I imagine with big enemies it's still really good. I mean, it, it, it's instantaneous, so you shouldn't try and lead the shot. You should just use it when it's pointing at the thing. Oh, turkey, 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 run, run, run. You can never trust a turkey. Weird thing, I don't remember ever, like, eating turkey in any significant amount. What? What do you do on, like, I Christmas? Don't... Well, we usually have, like, a Christmas ham. We normally have, like, a Christmas ham and a turkey and a chicken. Well, like, why? Because then you get a choice. How many, how many need to die for your amusement? Oh, god damn. I'm probably gonna die here. Okay, yeah, your fire rate is weird, bro. Okay, so it's back to is normal now. I don't think it should... I thought, I don't think this gun should be firing that fast. Oh, uh, is it faster than normal? Yes. What the hell? Technical, Technical presentation slideshow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I can't tell if this is a mistranslation or just what it normally is. Strange. Yeah, something's not working right with this gun. I'm like firing twice at once. It's weird. Ah ha ha ha! You need to send me a log up. What, this. Once again, I've broken everything somehow. You've you've absolutely shagged it. Yay! It's always fun when I do this. Be like turkey, like obviously you can turkey. still get it, but it's not as big of a thing over here as it is in other parts of the world. Like a lot of people are always like, uh, claim, well, as a claim, a lot of people say they don't like turkey, and they're like, oh, it's so dry. It's like if it, if it, if you had turkey and it was dry, you had bad turkey. Okay, but consider that if every single time they have it, it's it they don't like it. Maybe you should stop. If you don't, if you don't like the, if you don't like the taste, food. if you don't like the taste, that's a different story. But a lot of people that don't like, say they don't like turkey, say they don't like it because it's dry. And in my opinion, that just means you haven't ever had a good turkey. Like, I've had, I think, turkey and sandwiches a couple times, and that's it. And I just found it 
wholly an unremarkable experience. I love turkey. I, I, I'll Why? take turkey over chicken most of the time. I, I, I think the flavor's better. Okay, you'll have to, you know, come over and cook me some for free. I will. To, uh, prove... you, you know, oh. you'll have to cook yeah, my fire, rate's, my fire rate's gone back to being fucking terrible again. You'll have to come over, right, and cook me food to prove me wrong. I should just say that, like, I'll, I'll like, pretend that I don't like all the foods I love, so <laughs> that you'll try and make them to try and prove to me that I'll like them. Well, it seems that the longer I play the floor, the, the worse my fire rate gets. Uh, but I was going to say, one thing that we're definitely going to do if we ever get to meet up is we're going to do poorly translated cooking, which I think will be a lot of fun, which is basically oh, where you just take a recipe... Uh, Point Crow did a few videos on it, and I found them really funny, so I think it'd be funny to try. Um, yeah, you, you basically, yeah, I did. You, you take a recipe and you just put it through like 50 translators, like they've done with this, and then you try and cook exactly to what it says. Ooh. Yeah, like me and Luke, which is turtle. Like he wants to come on holiday, but but like <laughs> he's also uh, it's... A, a working man. Well, we it's there's, there's, king. there's way more than just that. So one of the reasons is obvious. Yeah, um, I have I have a job, and so it's difficult to, to find time to actually come and visit. Number two is to come, come see you. It would be insanely expensive. Like it's the longest flight I could possibly take. Um, it would be crazy expensive. Just go like as the mulberries go uh, through the earth. <laughs> It cuts down on travel time. Um, and then, of course, on top of that is because it's insanely expensive, I'd probably have to stay for a good amount of time to make the amount of money worth it. Like, I'd have to stay for three weeks or something, which means it's even harder to get the time off work. And then, yeah. obviously, we've got to line it up with Katie as well, because I probably want to come with Katie. No, I just abandoned your girlfriend to fuck off to the other side of the planet yeah. to go fishing. I've, I've told him that if he comes, we're going fishing. And uh, recording it. <laughs> well, we're only like... <laughs> we're we're only about two hundred subs off of a face reveal, so people will have seen my face by that point, anyways. Like, I I think honestly, it's like I don't enjoy fishing, but the reason I don't enjoy fishing is because how much you enjoy fishing, I feel, depends on how drunk you are. On the on the quality of the company you Damn. keep while fishing. Yeah, that's that's very true. If you have people that you like talking to that you fish with, you're you're not fishing because you enjoy fishing. You're fishing because it's, it's an excuse to sit around and shoot the shit while doing something. Yeah, exactly. So I also wanna I also wanna push him overboard. You're gonna push me overboard. Why? Yes, off the boat. What if I die? You won't fucking die. Can you swim? No, no, I can't. I can. What if I? What How if well can you what swim? If there's, pretty well. What, what if there's beasties in the water? I don't know what's around New Zealand's world. There's all sorts of fucking, crazy stuff. There's not fucking beasties in the water. It's temperate. But it's like Australia. There's just just full of deadly things. No, it's not full of fucking deadly things. It's temperate. Australia's tropical. Get it right. What the hell is going on with this gun? It seems like randomly when you fire bullets, they'll come out at wrong like positions or travel instantaneously, and I have no idea what item could be causing that. I'm guessing it's um, I'm guessing it's this one, the love ball. item that just completely fucks your game. Yeah. Like, it glitches out your bullets and that's a good thing. Yeah, exactly. That's what people want, right? I did consider making, like, lag bullets. <laughs> Where they, like, simulates lag, yeah. Yeah, they're bullets that freeze in the air. Is Like, it's a damage up, but the bullets can lag in the air. Like, uh, <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Like, like a broken murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just wonder if the damage upgrade would be worth how annoying that would be. Hmm, it depends on how aggressive it is and how often it happens. 
yeah, like, you know, I'll push in the water. We'll go, uh, well, it depends if we go in the winter or summer months. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Things can only get worse. This energy significantly Slowly. changes the radius of radiation. Nice. <laughs> this gun was originally uh, called Poco Loco. So I don't know how it got to slowly. <laughs> um, yeah, if we go in the winter months and I push you in... Uh, okay, so the thing is, because New Zealand by and large is not tropical, there are some places that get warm during the summer. Mm -hmm. But it's generally temperate, which means it's... The ocean uh, is never like a bath. Yeah. So, the month doesn't depend on if it'll be warm or cold, it just depends on how cold it will be. Ah, okay, okay. God, this fire rate thing is super annoying. It's like, you can get from, like, nicely, moderately cool, like, the, ah, relaxing uh, water in the summer, to... The, holy shit, I'm getting hypothermia just looking at it, <laughs> water of the winter. Oh, no, no. It's even better because, like, uh, because we're in the southern hemisphere, sometimes you get, like, weather patterns which have come up from Antarctica. Oh, God. So, like, it's uncommon, but if it happens, things get really cold, like... The only time I have ever seen it snow in town was because it was weather that had anomalously travelled up from Antarctica. God damn. Which isn't something I think a lot of people no, you wouldn't have to worry that. about. You would not expect that. Yeah, like... Well, the only time I've, I've, I've... I've been in snow, I've seen snow, but typically... If you want snow in New Zealand, you have to go to a higher altitude. Because yeah. It doesn't just snow at it doesn't snow at ground level. Uh, so there are like ski parks that are built in places that get a lot of snow, and if you go there in the winter, it'll be cold and it'll, there'll be snow. So, I like snow. It's it's actually very very fun because I don't have to put up with it constantly. I was just about to say, I fucking hate snow. Everyone in the UK is like, oh, it's so beautiful, it's so pretty. It's like, yeah, for a single day. And it turns into fucking sludge and black ice, and it's horrible. Traveling in it's uh, a nightmare. It, it is, just the, the, it, it the ruins your shoes. It's just, oh, the God. Shit, <laughs> the shit-stained ice of the River Thames. Yeah. Like, I don't know how much you've had to deal with black ice, but it is the worst. Can happen in the colder months here. Ooh, hive mind. Yeah, I downloaded the hive mind items. I thought it'd be cool. It item. Seems really cool. Item. Mob. That is cool. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's neat. If only there were more rooms that used it. Uh, Ooh, it actually, it, it actually got uh, this kind of right. Um, prototype could use the this explosion to generate infinite energy and deliver theoretical infinite am ammunition by continuously moving the combustion chamber. That is not bad. It's terrible, but it makes sense. Yeah, like it kind of gets the point across. So like, I like snow because I can choose whether or not I am subjected to it. So that's accuracy down and damage up. Nice. I don't care about accuracy. Yeah, I I, I hate I can, snow so much. Because I can choose whether or not I am subjected to snow, it means that it's not something I despise. Yeah. So don't forget your prism. It's very hard to use on control, I'll be honest. Because I have to take my I have to take my finger off of the analog stick to press it, which means that I can't aim. That just sounds like a skill issue. Uh, but like the only time I've ever seen it snow in town was an anomalous weather pattern. And it was very light. It was very, very light snow. Mm. And I was a little kid in school. 
and everyone just left the classroom in the middle of lessons <laughs> because everyone wants to see what the hell is going like, on because something new yeah like we weren't supposed to do that but nobody cared nobody cared yeah because it was such a unique experience and i think that was pretty cool yeah we, yeah, we like, normally get like a good we're starting to get it in december less and less sometimes we do sometimes we don't but we mainly get it january february february is always like the coldest month of the year i hate it it's funny talking to people who can't like conceptualize the idea of a warm christmas <laughs> yeah it's strange it's like i i fucking love it Oh yeah, I mean, like I would too. I mean, I've been I've been abroad for Christmas once. Uh, I went to Tenerife for Christmas, and it was lovely. <laughs> Where's that? Um, like Spain. Oh. It's not like it's not like that far away from us, but it was a lot warmer than it was in the UK. Because yeah, like right now, in the lead up to Christmas, it's summer. It's hot. It's hot. Hot, 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 hot. I got another curse, by the way. Oh, you've just been so unlucky. Like, I did verify that the chances were correct. It is just a 6.66% chance, because you're at one curse. But you've just been so unlucky. Amazing. Uh-oh, unlucky. I'm stinky, uh-oh. But yeah, like... It's so nice to think of, like, oh yeah, a Christmas holiday in warm weather and like i i that's something i take for granted but i like to i think about why did you piss everywhere when you rolled over a table i don't know i think it was that uh, uh slideshow item yeah probably i'm not really testing that out yet try it sl try sliding over tables some more when you next get the chance uh Okay, get here, you so stupid fucking cat twat. If I... If I go somewhere for Christmas, I'm, like, within the country, within the hemisphere, it's like, it's warm weather. Mm. It's beautiful. I'd love that and so much. I, I take that for granted, but I realise that's something the majority of the world don't get. Yeah. Because... Oh, balls. Let's oh, do a yeah, boss rush. Fucking idiot. We'll do a boss rush, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you better, or else I'll fucking stab you. We um, we had like the the I think it's the I think it was the hottest day ever recorded in the UK this summer. It wasn't that the one that killed a bunch of people. It probably did. Yeah, it it it, it broke like everything. So obviously UK just 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 doesn't have the infrastructure to deal with heat. So so many things broke. Like every single supermarket, all of the freezers and fridges just broke. Yeah, because like they've never seen the sun before. Pretty much, the sun is a distant. I can say, they teach like children about it in school. But... A, a very hot summer to us, a ve like a very hot summer, is thirty degrees. That is like a very hot summer, and it was forty-two at max. Yeah, that would probably kill me too. Like, usually, like very hot over here is like thirty-five. Mm -hmm. So not not like ridiculous, and and that's still like difficult to deal with but we are equipped to deal with it yeah if it was like 40 i don't think people would it would be causing a huge amount of issues but it would be very uncomfortable yeah 42 it was ridiculous like i walk i had to do go into the office at work i don't i don't often have to use the office but i had to go in that day and I like I I decided to walk there and oh my god it was such a bad decision I didn't bring any water with me it was like a fifteen minute walk by the time I got there I was so dehydrated yeah you just fucking it's so thirsty you crack open a pigeon and drink its juices <laughs> exactly like crack open a cold one but it's a pigeon it's just a pigeon put it in the freezer then it's a cold pigeon oh, it's fucked um. Don't like this gun. So like, oh bloody hell, you're a big baby. <laughs> it's too slow for boss killing. Fire rate's not high enough. Oh, big baby, big goo goo gaga, big baby go wah, wah wah. Big baby go wah. It's a cool gun, but it's not good for that. 
Big baby go, goo goo gaga, give me big key. Give me exactly. big key. That is me all the time. But, uh... It's just, like, sometimes it's nice to think about what you have that other people don't have and take that into account. You should yeah. do, like, a full curse I boss rush. Do a lot of full curse boss rush. I probably should have done, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah let's do it. We can go let's back. Do let's do it. Let's just, let's just restart and do it. Um... I definitely take my job for oh, granted. Like that's that's something. You could do that... an, you could do an all jammed boss rush if you wanted. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All oh, right, well that would be very scary. Um, well, up to you. But um, yeah, I definitely take my job for granted. Like, it can be busy at times, but the fact that I get to work from home and it's all remote and I get to work for the most part the hours that I want to work, it's not what a lot of people get the opportunity to do. Oh, we got that stupid rolling item. No, thank you. Bloody hell, you're such a baby. Baby want binky. Goo goo gaga. Yeah. You got, got those stupid boots that make you roll like three light years. It just completely throws me off. I can't, I can't use those. Baby. Baby. I'm going to throw you in the ocean. <laughs> Are we going fishing in the ocean or fishing in a lake? The ocean. Okay. Why would we go fishing in a lake? I don't know, lots of people go fishing in lakes. Okay, well, consider... The ocean's fucking everywhere. There's more real estate. <laughs> Inverted plate oh. reflects the bullets. This is a table flip item. Ah, brilliant. Incredible. You gonna jam yourself? Oh, yep, 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 yep. Get jammed, fella. Get jammed. You ever driven a boat? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> um, it's I have not ever driven a boat. Sweeper. This thing is terrible for this, oh god. You gotta bait them into it. Yeah, you gotta create a minefield and bait them. But, uh... Basically... Uh, it's fun. Basically, <laughs> it's fun. I would imagine so, yeah. You know, driving a boat is fun. Because it's like driving a fast car, but the terrain is com is mostly flat, and there are no roads. That is true. And no one can stop you. You have a lot of freedom, you. yeah. And no one can stop you. Well, yeah, like, if I want to drive in circles, like, in a car I have to find a field, but in a boat it's like everywhere the boat can go. That's true, yeah. You can accommodate that. Oh, for God's sake, I'm hitting myself with the explosion. Idiot. Um, he keeps eating my mines and not exploding. What's going on? Uh, blame, blame. Look at that. It's not. It's not blowing up. I've been robbed. What oh, the hell? I think, I, think, I think the mines only explode after they've come to a stop. Uh, uh probably some, it does some seem to be right, thing. yeah. To be like, no, uh, you can't barrel stuff, actually. That does seem to be I correct. Am the of how you, I am the arbiter of how you play the video game. Either that or it's just broken. What the fuck is that? It's a stop sign. It's got very cool animations. Honestly, it's melee, so it's probably not a boss killer. But it's worth trying. What did it, what did it, what did it do? Nothing? It hit him. Nothing. It did damage. It did Jack shit. Jack diddly shit. It makes a cool noise when you but, hit them too. Oh, that, that's really well made, but one would imagine it would like freeze him or something. I like it a lot. It, it doesn't knock back bullets though. Oh, but it did destroy bullets. It did. What's this what's this gun been called? Um it's been called the the hammer something or other? Fancy hammer. No, the uh the uh the cannon. Oh, it actually used it actually the proper used name. The real Lantaka. name. Why, have, why don't I have bombs like Isaac? You just use them to insta kill bosses. Because Isaac is a bad video game. Got them, Gatlingle. Prove, prove me wrong. I, I can't. I, I genuinely can't. The only thing I have to prove it is the amount of hours I have played on it. 
Well, yes, but I also like people have a lot of hours with their abusive relationships. Fucking hell! <laughs> Generate a random chest. Why? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! That, that's got to be like an S tier item, right? I mean, it came from a black chest, so I'd hope so. No, I mean the active dimwit. Oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, I would imagine so, yeah. Considering it generated it without needing to use a key, I would definitely think so. I thought anyway, you meant yeah, the fucking so assault rifle. Notes on the heavy assault rifle. It, uh, it's, heavy. it's powerful, but it slows you down while you hold yeah, it. Yeah, so. I, I can already tell that I'm moving at a lot slower speed. So, like, it, it's one of those ones where you want to swap onto and off of it as needed. So that you don't, like... But remember, no boss damage can, so... <laughs> You know, it's it's weird how the Beholster, like, doesn't have a tint. His jammed tint just doesn't yeah. work. And they never fix that. Mimic. Oh, item charged. Item charged? Oh, shit, yeah. yeah they fucking is. active item. Are you paying attention to the video game at all? Dude, 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 dude. What's something you don't understand? is the bottom left-hand side of my screen is completely obscured by my microphone, so I can't see that at all. What the fuck has it done to Nitro Bullets? Nitro Bullets. 50% chance to... What the fuck? <laughs> C200 barrel. Uh, the original descript... The original, like, quote is Bada bing. <laughs> It was created by a madman who loves land sports and uses special disappearance symbol. What? I love land. I love <laughs> land sports. I love so, those I love land the, sports. The, the, the translated description just fucking lies to you. It said <laughs> you are immune to these explosions, when the original description is you are not immune to these explosions. <laughs> oh, a PhD flopper. What the fuck? A pack from Call of Duty Zombies. Almost useful. Not enough to survive apocalypse on your own. This is one of Dalsum's items. Nice. I do love a bit of PhD flopper. In the Call of Duty, it makes it. In Call of Duty, it makes it so uh, in in like the zombies mode. When you do a dolphin dive, when you hit the floor, it explodes in like a little mini nuke. I don't know what Dalsum would have made it do. Uh, do yeah. I'm guessing it's something to do with rolling, right? If if it, if it normally works off of dolphin diving. I think it works. I don't cool. know. Because, like, Dalsum is, like, a fairly new modder. He's picking things up quick, but I don't know, how, like, how much he knows. Yeah. So I don't know if he knows how to do roll items yet. But, like, it's not... Uh, it's it's difficult to talk about, like, someone not knowing stuff in a way that doesn't seem condescending. Like, genuinely, Dalsum is, is clever and he's picking things up quickly. I just yeah. don't know what he knows at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I think we got a pretty good setup to uh, to wipe the floor with the rest of these bosses. I want to try out this thing on the boss see how much damage this does. Oopsie. What is it? What's the description? Oh, I forgot to check that. It's the allocators display the allocators. Okay. Um, after a while, they got sick. Okay. Relatable. <laughs> uh, why did he has eyebrows? It doesn't really do much to the boss by the looks of it. You gave him eyebrows. Why did you do that? He's angry now. God, it's he's at his Eggman eyebrows. <laughs> oh, now it's an Eggman moustache! Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. Really? Ah, I'm gonna make you drive a boat one day. I'm sure you are. You'll probably enjoy it. It's like uh, yeah, I, I don't doubt like it. Driving a, it's like driving a car, but on water. Well, you gotta consider one thing. I don't drive a car, and I don't ever intend to. Well, neither do I. But it's but, I have driven a car before, so I know what it feels like. Hello again. The, the other good thing about boats is that there's nothing to crash into. That's true. That's true. And there's there's very few other drivers. Yeah. Um. Cast enemies drop randomly when killed. What? <laughs> oh, this is that uh, the item that makes jammed enemies have a chance to drop items. Not going to be super useful for us, but we'll take it. I mean, 
Might what if the jam hasn't spawned? I'm at 12 curse. What's that about? Did you install an item that removes Lord of nope. the mod that removes Lord of the Jam? I did not. What's giving you? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Oh, there he is. Hey, bud. You hey, just buddy. took a while to get here. Bubby. Doctor Bubby. You just took a while to catch you. He's late. He's late to work. He's gonna get fired. <laughs> Come along, fella. Uh, one thing that was interesting to me is, like, I was talking earlier to Pointy, uh, mutual, mutual friend. Yeah. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash, is it the Pointy one? I don't know, I'm using your platform to shill someone else. <laughs> Do it, I don't care. I'm abusing you. I'm using you and abusing you. What do you think this relationship is? I, I'm, I'm using you for views. Oh, yeah. You're getting so many views by uh, my YouTube celebrity. See, the, the funny the... thing is, I do get more views in the videos that you're in, but not because of your YouTube status. It's just because we have good banter and people enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. It's like all those people Googling uh, Never Named on a daily basis to see what new content I've pumped out. Uh, Dude. This thing gave me three black chests. Balanced. <laughs> and it's, it's not like you could really miss the warmonger anyways, but even no. still. Ooh, there's a, a portal. Also a whip. What's the whip's description? What the fuck oh, is going with it's this a, It's a pistol whip, but it looks like the movement... It's, it's hard to see, but, like, it's a line of pistols that whip and fire bullets, like the, uh... Oh, okay. Do you have it? What, what items do you have? Because it looks like they're being utterly balked. It's probably elite, uh, it's it's probably elite, elite bullets that's doing it. Oh, probably, Welcome, yeah. Sticker. Yeah. Best information on potential customer. I These lead it. spheres are the star sparkles of... What the fuck? Nemeeds. <laughs> Just extract from the ashes of dragons, extract from the heart of a dying earth. Okay. Yeah, it's probably that that's bugging it out. What about the whip? Whip gun. Nice. Hit with a gun. Very literal. Yeah. Uh... Like... Different... Traditions relating to Christmas have always been interesting to me. Like, like over here we have the Pahutakawa. What? The Pahutakawa is a tree. Be attacked. That is... Restart. <laughs> how did they? How did it get be attacked from icicle? <laughs> the stranger it is, the cold of the owner. The roof of the deeper catacombs was removed, but for some reason it did not collapse. What the heck? That's, that, that, that sounds poetic. Also, for some reason, um, taking Chaotic Shift lowered my maximum ammo for this gun rather than increasing it. Oh good, it broke everything. Alright, which one of you fuckers did this? I thought we were past this. What items do you have? Um... It's going to be an on-hit effect breaking. So, it might be <laughs> given flopper. that we, we clearly know what all these items do, because their descriptions are so helpful. <laughs> uh, nitro... So, with regards to on-hit effects, you have nitro bullets. What the fuck is that? Who knows? What the fuck is that? Emergency what optics. What the hell is Too even strong. that? What the hell is even that? You can slow down time, hold it um, still and aim arrows at all enemies in space. The more you focus, the more damage you hit the ball. Nice. Nice. Uh, so I don't know what PhD Flopper does. I don't know if it's like a hit effect or not. If it is a hit effect, then that could be causing something like this. But again, I, I'm not going to say that because I don't know. It could be Nitro Bullets. But, uh, I don't know why Nitro Bullets would do something like this. It could also be that, uh, Raven Feather item. Maybe, yeah. Breaking some Either sewer way, jam we'll, bosses. 
will know when you send me the, the log. Uh, for now, you're sort of restricted to hitting them, trying to hit them as directly as possible. Holy shit. You are doing damage, just slowly. The thing is, I think it's because the kill pillars are made really strangely. Like, they don't have an AI actor. Yeah. I mean, it works. They we got are, that in the end. They're like a purely scripted boss. That mimic got fucking vaporized. <laughs> that it did. There are, the kill pillars are one of the only purely scripted bosses, which means that, like, they don't actually think. And they don't have AI like other enemies mm -hmm. in the game do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they're just static. They're one of the few things that. Like, it'll probably break the dragon health. as well, won't it? Uh, well, actually, it's a special case. It might break the dragon, but the kill pillars would break because they have health but no brain, basically. And a modder might assume that an item has that that something they shoot. It's like, oh, it has health, and everything that has health has a brain, so it's mm -hmm. got to have a brain. Yeah, that's like. Not the case in the kill pills. Evidently, uh, the same mistake does not apply to the dragon. Uh, but the Pahutakawa is a, a tree that's associated with Christmas here in New Zealand. Yeah. It's a, a really, it's really pretty tree. It has red flowers that sprout around the end of the that bloom around the end of the year, which is why it's associated with Christmas. Lord of the gem is invisible. Lord of the fuck you. If you die, we have to do another boss rush, by the way. Uh... I love how he just leaves. Um... <laughs> the Budokawa has sort of become a symbol of Christmas in New Zealand as this very warm, very summery thing with trees in bloom, rather than the typical, like, European pine covered in snow, which we get in other parts of the world. Okay, we have to do another one. We, we can't do another one. We don't have time. I said I only had an hour. You, you, you I still have to eat lunch yet. I still have to eat lunch. Oh, get, get lunch. Have lunch with me. We'll go on a date. We will. We will. We'll go on a Anyways, date. Go on, get lunch. Continue. 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 I can, we can, we can finish out this at least. I'm interested. And it's just stuff like that. The Pahutakawa is an, a really interesting tree, actually. Because, from what I understand, it's also... There is one Bahudakawa that I, I love. And I, I mean, I don't mean like a species, I mean one specific tree. Oh, right. I think it's a Bahudakawa. <laughs> it's called the Spirit Tree. Hmm. It is a specific Bahudakawa on a cliffside that in uh, Maori uh, native folklore it guards the entrance to the afterlife. Yeah. And so, like, the, the beneath the roots of the tree is supposedly a cave, and the spirits of the dead must pass th through the roots of the tree to reach the afterlife. That's pretty cool. And the fact that it still exists today, mm. like, the tree that inspired this mythology is still alive. That's pretty cool, yeah. It's, it's, I think it's estimated to be over like 800 years old. Dang it, that's an old tree. And the thing is, right, looking at it, if you just Google, like, Māori spirit tree, you'll see a picture of it for anyone listening. But it's not, like, a big tree. It's not grandiose. Yeah, it doesn't it, have, like, a... it doesn't, like, stand out tall in front of everything, though. Yeah, I would describe it as humble. Hmm. <laughs> it's it's a very a very humble looking tree, and it's it's kind of unique in that because a lot of mythology is like this is the biggest tree yeah, in all yeah, the realm. Yeah, yeah. Everything's always that size. The world. But it's like it's sort of refreshing that there's this really important tree that's just a tree. It's like yeah. a subversion of expectations of something extremely important being mundane in its appearance. It's, and it's what it's kind of like what's underneath that matters as well. 
Yeah. What's beneath the what's beneath the initial view of what you see? There's also something poetic about the the object which symbolizes like life and death being a living thing that will eventually die. Yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting that. So like what's the what's the main ties to Christmas again? For Hudakawa trees, they bloom around the end of the year. Ah, they bloom okay, okay. during Christmas time. So they've just sort of come to be associated with Christmas. Yeah, 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 I see, I see. Because they have these these beautiful red flowers. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But yeah, I guess we'll leave it off there. Um, sorry to cut us short a little bit, but we are at like 55 minutes. It's not exactly a short episode. Um, oh, we could have done another boss rush if you did it in five minutes. <laughs> That's true. But how good are your how good are your speed running skills? Depends on what weapons I get. <laughs> so non-existent. Yeah, exactly. I have to basically play as the gunslinger and get, like, the AWP. <laughs> Do a fucking back hop. Come on. A back hop? Do a backwards long jump. I'll do I'll do one run with the rainbow chest as this guy and see what happens. Let's find out. Oh, yes. I finally convinced you. From here, it's only forwards. Right. But I'm gonna, I knew I can beat you into submission. <laughs> I am quite hungry though, I do definitely need to eat soon. I'm gonna have a subway, it's gonna be good. What's the deal by the way, anyone watching that's from America, why do all Americans just consider subway to be utter trash? Is it just really bad in America? Cause it's like really good in the UK, but I see so many bad things about subway and it's all from Americans. Like, is it just terrible over there? Cause it's really yeah, good like, here. Over here, Subway's really good as well. It's like, I guess, the, the whole thing with Subway, I guess, is that it's built around the idea of it. Be, the whole thing is that, oh, it's fresh. It's fresh ingredients. Oh, it's this is that gun that for some reason makes a loud noise for you yep. and not for me. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. That's loud noise. Yeah. I was just seeing if it's still loud or not. I don't know why it does that, because it doesn't do that on my end, and I can't recreate that. I don't know how why it does that for you. Deafens me. <laughs> Work, hashtag works on my machine. <laughs> uh, but, like... So, uh, one, one thing that I think it might be is, I mean, for one, I think customer service might just be better here because everyone says that the sandwiches are made like shit. But also, I think it's because of maybe in New Zealand as well, because of the, the food regulation laws. Um, what the fuck? Why did like 90% of the stuff just disappear? Fell through the map. And also, why don't I just pick something up and there's still stuff on the floor? What, what the hell? Okay, that rainbow chest just fucking died. Why is the lich's old gun shooting stuff? Oh, because you have the synergy, right. Why is, this, why is the synergy called geese and Indians? <laughs> oh, it's the translation. Yeah. The translation, it was bullet something. And it translated to Indian. Indians. <laughs> right. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just talking about that earlier and I just forgot because the, the phrase geese and Indians just hit me <laughs> out of the blue. But like... I would imagine that the thing with Subway is that the ingredient quality matters a lot. Yeah, more I was just going to gonna say, the food. I was just going to say that. I think because the, like about 10 years ago, maybe even 15 at this point, a long time ago, the, the UK heavily, heavily increased. It's like how, how strict it is about food regulations and stuff like that. And I don't think America ever did. Like there are food regulations over here and it's also like a, a snowball effect because like because a lot of the food is good economically you have to make good food otherwise you're just not competitive in the yeah. business like you people are like oh they capitalism they have to use cheap ingredients it's like no if everyone else is using good ingredients they have to use good ingredients to keep up yeah exactly yeah but those are like uh, with a like a, a sandwich made like vegetables and some ham and stuff and some bacon and some sauce it's like the ingredients are mostly unprocessed mm. one one thing i do find quite funny is uh like it was 
it happened recently, but it's probably happened a few times over, is people are like, oh my god, did you know that Subway's tuna isn't really tuna? And like, have you seen it when it's packed? Look at it, it's disgusting. It's like, it tastes like tuna. It tastes nice. I don't give a shit what's in it. <laughs> I don't give a damn. It tastes like tuna. I don't care. It's like... Also, that Subway tuna thing was kind of uh, biased. Because they did a, a DNA test on cooked tuna. Hmm. What the heck? And if you know it, if you know anything about uh, tuna, or uh, not tuna, if you know anything about DNA and like uh, chemistry, uh, cooking something will fuck up the DNA present in it. Yeah. Like, obviously, it didn't come back as being tuna in the test because it was cooked. Mm. Like, maybe it's not tuna, maybe it is, but you can't, that's not, like, a fair way to tell, basically. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, like, I remember uh, a few friends were like, I, I, I'd order tuna at some point, they'd be like, oh, no, no, don't order that, like, it's, have you not seen all the videos? And so I'm like, yes, I have, I don't care. It's like, I've eaten a hot dog out of a can before. I think that's gonna more likely give me cancer than this tuna is. Chicken. Whole chicken in a can. <laughs> Hot dog is the furthest I'll ever go for meat in a can. Like Burgers fish. or chicken. F tuna's tin, fine. Tuna's tin fine. Fish is, is fine. Tinned fish is fine for me. Yeah. But anything. Uh, like, you know, you, you, you put it into a nice mug. Nice. Nice mug of fish. Yeah, you and your weird mugs of fish. We're not on speaking terms. We're not yeah. on speaking terms after that incident. Kind of horrible. So strange put, of you. I put uh, fish in a mug because I was hungry and I didn't want to make anything because I was also lazy. And I'm like, huh. So he so just got canned, canned fish and put fish. it in a mug. That's the, the grimmest meal. That, that is a depression meal I've ever heard of one. It's like, ah, uh, like, I could put it in a bowl, but a bowl feels like overkill, and it's the perfect size to just fit in a mug. So I'm gonna put the fish in You're a, a mug. You're a wrong'un. You're a wrong'un. And then I, I ate it, and I was halfway through it, and I realized, oh, I think there's something wrong with this fish. Mm. Which made it even worse, because if it was, if it was like, good fish, I wouldn't have cared. Yeah. But it was like, the fish... The fish was grim. <laughs> Horrible. I I made a mistake a few weeks ago. Uh, well, if you, probably like a month or two ago now. Um, in that I accidentally consumed six tins of tuna in a day. And what you may be wondering. You yeah, you, you may be wondering like, how the like fuck do you made up? It's like that made up statistic with spiders. Like <laughs> yeah. every night you swallow six <laughs> tins of tuna that crawl into your mouth. Like you may be wondering how the fuck do you accidentally eat six tins of tuna in a day? So it was partially accidentally, partially not. So basically, first of all, I had accidentally bought um, tuna cans that were double sized and I did not realize. So there were two two, ki two tins in one and I did not realize there were two tins in one. Um, so you so just had a spoonful. That's the that's the first fuck up. So the, the next fuck up is I had a tuna wrap for lunch and then completely forgotten that I'd eaten that for lunch and so decided I wanted to make like tuna fish cakes for tea. So I made tuna fish cakes using two tins of tuna, thinking it was only two when it was actually four. Bear in mind I'd already had a full one, meaning I'd already had two. Um, and then Katie got home and was like, no, I don't want that. And I'd already made them. So I was like, okay, I'll just eat them all. And I had like four of these um, these tuna fish cakes. And so by the end of the day, I'd had six tins of tuna. And it of made me you... very ill. Back, you, you backhanded her across the face and screamed, how dare you deny my gifts. <laughs> well, yeah, it was, it was not good. <laughs> I was... My stomach was not okay for the wench, rest of the night wench, and the next I come year. to you bearing fish and, <laughs> and you turn me away. I I have gifted you an inordinate amount of tuna. How, how could you? How dare you turn away my fish, my fishy gifts? Yes. Oh, I am. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm in a pretty good mood today because I'm informed we got to record, which is always nice. Um, but also, um. Someone that I don't know is um, is coming to meet us today. It's, it's one of Katie's friends from um, 
in university. But anyways, we're gonna go out and like have some drinks and food and we might go to a place called Turtle Bay and it is amazing there. They named the place after you? They did. Sick, how much do you get paid for that? Katie likes to be horrendously cringe and make the joke of, do you know when people call someone Bay, as in like their girlfriend or boyfriend? Oh, and God. they'll see the place and she'll call me Turtle Bay and I'm like, never again, please, stop. Uh, it's the worst. Throw, throw, just just throw away the whole girlfriend at that point. <laughs> He's beyond Anyways, salvation. We were exactly five minutes and 50 seconds, which is about the time I had left. Which Nice. See, I told you. I, t I tell The episode is an hour and, and five minutes me. now, but you know what? It's fine. Yeah. Anyways. People, people want the content. You yeah. want video. It I'll was fun. It, it was it was good. Considering I missed an episode last week, this makes up for it, I hope. Either way, I hope you guys don't, did enjoy this one. It was don't a lot forget of fun. to send me a log. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.